Alright everybody, welcome back to Tales of Aria. This is episode 34. If you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Ordwin, take it away. Or Colleen. Colleen. Um, so, last episode started off, um, Ordwin had a conversation with you and with Levin um, about kind of leaving to find out more about his god and about the artifact so that when the time does come for having to use it, he's got a little bit more information on it and um, just a little bit more information in general of his god. Um, after Ordwin left, there was a... Uh, Ordwin left a, a note around... Well, he sent some flyers out to Willerin and he left some around the town, you know, saying that the Adventurers Guild was there and they take applications and things like that. And um, there was a knock on the door and the party was greeted by... Um, a female fur bulg named Colleen. Um, she went and spoke with Hugh and Levin and eventually joined the group. And while this was happening, there was... Um, Tula was downstairs in the dungeon, locked away. And then there was... I don't... Did someone see the elves outside or was there like a knock on the door? I don't remember that part. Um, but somehow there, there was elves outside as well. I'm looking for my notes. Um, Alexi and Kai. And basically they were on their own mission trying to bust Tula, I'm guessing, out of her prison downstairs. Um, Morgan got kind of upset because, you know, he kept being interrupted for everything that was going on during the day. Um, he heard you yelling from outside. Uh, when he went out there, there was like elves up on the roof and stuff. Um, eventually we kind of eradicated the whole s problem and we realized, you know, they're just going to keep coming at us and keep coming at us and keep coming at us. So eventually we were like, look, just take Tula. You can have her. Um, but stop trying to progress with what you're doing because you're, you're starting this war and you're doing all this stuff that you don't need to do. And if you just tell us what you're looking for as adventurers, we could possibly help you so that you can stop doing this stuff. And they kind of agreed to that. So that that's kind of where we are now. We all um, kind of went to sleep for the night, I do believe. Um, we let Tula go. Alexi and uh, Kai, I'm guessing they left as well. And um, yeah, we're all just kind of chilling out. And uh, I think that was really all we did last session. Kind of. If I missed anything, like, fill it in because... I know a lot of it was more so um, the other characters because Colleen was kind of just in the basement um, watching Tula the whole time. Oh, there was also the uh, poison versus hold person battle. Oh, right. Um, Alexi was downstairs with Colleen and she managed to... Um, what, what was he going to do? Try to break out Tula? Yeah. And he went to poison Colleen, and at the exact same moment, Colleen threw a hold person. Um, she was successful in grabbing him. We put him into the cage as well. So basically, every time they sent an elf to try to break her out, we were just going to keep putting more and more in jail. So we got to the point where we were like, all right, look, stop sending people. And That, that was all the two. Yeah, let us help you, and here's your people back, and yeah. And don't forget, we ended on the uh, buffet. Did we? Right. Yeah, all of us. Uh, well, even the elves were at the buffet. Sometime after the buffet. And. Uh, 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 sometime after the buffet. They're getting ready to uh, head off. And you guys see them going down the as And then they all stop. They look at each other, start talking. And then they start setting up a, a tent at the uh, side of the road next to the town. The uh, elves do? Yep. Oh. 
I mean, if that's where they want to stay. Is you back yet? Hugh, you got your camera on, but I don't know if you knew that. Ah. It's all right. Well, it's not like anyone else, but... Uh... Who all went to the um, buffet? I don't remember. Was the full party there, or just me and Hugh? I think it was the full party. Yeah, it was a full party. I mean, Colleen doesn't really have the authority to really say anything. She's just getting there, so... If she sees them sitting up tents out there, I mean, she'd probably just assume, you know, eh, it's something elves do, and just not say too much about it. She'd probably want to start heading back to the Adventurer's Guild. Well, I, I'd be walking back to the Adventurer's Guild as well. I'm guessing it's getting nighttime. So Morgan's going to go into his bed. Okay, sorry, I'm back. All good. Morgan's going to take out his little teddy bear. Cuddle with it. Stuart's going to be in his little bed. Fantastic. All right. So. I'm back. Okay. Uh, the elves were starting to leave, and then they, for some reason, stopped, chatted with each other, and then started setting up camp outside town. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess it makes sense. They don't really have much else to go, and we are their, like, closest allies within uh, enemy territory, so. That's kind of what Colleen said, you know, it's, yeah. She just assumes, I guess, elves like to camp out and stuff? Uh. I'm I mean, they're fey, right? That. I'm gonna say that's racist. <laughs> I mean, I just figure they're they're Fey touch, so I mean more, they're in tune with Fey. Fey. <laughs> and Colleen would be out there sleeping with them too. You want to go out there then? No, she got a bedroom. What? <laughs> I'm just saying, if she didn't have a bedroom. Okay, okay. I mean, we'd offer him a place to stay, but. All right. Uh, actually, so you is gonna rather than head to bed. Or are we back at the Adventurers Guild? No, this is kind of where we were. Uh, okay. Um, in that case, she would kind of look at the rest of the party and just say, um, give me but a moment. I'm going to go talk to Levin about something. And Morgan and Pauline both went back to the Adventure Guild already. Okay. I didn't wait. Oh, wait, where, are, what, where was I then? We were all at the, um, we finished at the buffet. buffet. Oh, I don't believe you went. <laughs> See, I didn't think so. I wasn't sure if the whole party went. Yeah. All right. So if you're there, then we would probably be getting back while you're talking to Levin then. Okay. Then yeah, I guess uh, you would just be upstairs talking to him if he's uh, not asleep, I suppose, at this time. All right. Uh, I don't know how much how session now oh what's up just because i'm tired no i feel it that meant to be a very high key session today <sighs> i can't even remember where i was going <laughs> um If you want, like, yeah. In that case, if you want, we can just, like, do the conversation there real quick and just go from there. And... All right. All right. In that case, you're just going <clears> to... <throat> There's no door. If you're just going to walk up and be like, um, Levin, moment of your time. What is it? So, it seems like for a while, at least, um, <clears throat> we're going to be... We won't be uh, able to pursue any further leads on that, um investigation we've um, sort of undertaken. Ord went off left to go figure out more about his crystal and then um, 
well, with uh, the gnomes, we can't really do much until they return and, <clears throat> you know, fill us in on what they would ask us to do. <clears throat> so, I was actually hoping to ask you if you might have any um, jobs for us. And before you start, I don't mean the um, request on the board. I'm more so talking about more of John Guy's expedition, as it were. Your expedition <clears throat> to where again? Um, just anywhere you might have us explore. Or if you'd like, we could ask around town and try to figure out something from there. But more so, something to preoccupy us for the week or so. Give me one moment. He goes over to the pages. Flipping through. Ah, this is, uh, this is something odd. Mm hmm? And she's gonna Hold walk on. over. Oh, go for it. I think you muted yourself, bud. I think he's reading something right now, which is why he's muted. Well, in the meantime, I have pictures I have to send someone. Don't mind me. Also, is Colleen just kind of like vibing in this new room, not really like exploring or anything? I mean, she's kind of sitting in there looking at all these pictures all over the wall and stuff, and She's kind of just making it her own right now, I guess. Uh, are you, like, drawing over the pictures? She, w I want her to bring in, like, a bunch of outdoor foliage just, and stuff. Had... <laughs> What'd you say? Sorry. I just had some... Oh, no, you're fine, man. But anyways... He says... Um, uh, there seems to have been some missing people nearby. Is that something you would like to explore, or...? Sure. Sounds important enough. Um, when you say nearby, is this more so local, or is it a few towns away? Uh, town of... Right. Well, in that case, we can... I'll let the rest of us... find you some... crypt, if that's something you're interested in. Oh, a crypt, you say? Yes. Huh. All right. Um, <laughs> I can run it past everybody else. Um, it might actually be a good... Um, oh, what's I'm looking for? Um, first mission for Colleen, the new member of ours. See what she's really made of. So I'll run it past everybody and um, get the consensus, and then I'll get back to you. All right. That sounds good to me. All right. Uh, thank you for your time. Um, and if he has, like, documents for these, she would ask to take them, just to, like, read them over. Uh, he hands them over to you, which are just requests about... <clears throat> yeah, re okay, requests about the missing people and then the crypts. Yep. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, and do they both give locations? Uh, yes, they do. Gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> we'll just say, says wherever. For now. Alright. And, um, oh, fuck, what time is it? No, uh, it's like midday. Oh, okay. <clears throat> what are y'all doing in your rooms for? Oh, well, Colleen's decorating. <laughs> She's getting all these pictures off the wall and shit. <laughs> Okay, gotcha. In that case, uh, well, we'll start with you, actually. Uh, you was going to knock on your door. I'm uh, just going to be like, um, excuse me? Uh, Colleen, I believe you're in here? Oh, um, yes. You... Who's out there? Uh, this is you. Oh, the door's open. You can come on in. All right, I won't be long, and she's going to just open the door. Um, so, I was actually hoping to ask if you would be interested in a um, small little endeavor. Um, Consider I mean, it... Consider it a field test for you. 
I mean, sure. I mean, I'd love to be able to show my skills. <clears throat> All right. Uh, in that case, meet us down. Uh, meet me downstairs, and we can discuss it with the rest of the group. I just have to make sure that um, the two other members of ours are awake, or at least willing to go on this. All right. Um, and you can see behind her, she has like probably a table in there with like a bunch of like potted plants with nothing growing in it yet. They're just all empty. She's got the soil and stuff like that. And that's what you would probably see behind her. Quite the botanist, I see. Well, I know there's nothing in there yet, but... Oh, but there will be. Hmm. Well, in that okay, case, I look forward... Me. Oh, what's up? You got a name for that. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. I'll, uh... Go yeah. Uh, let me turn you up too, by the way, because you're really quiet for me. Okay. I don't know if it, I think you're cutting out like right at the end of yeah. your speaking. Yeah, it's I don't know if it's voice. like a gate or. It I is. don't know. Gate. <clears throat> All right, try talking now, real quick. Hello. There you go. I have to turn you up a bit, but you're fine now. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm completely uh, ready for any kind of adventure. To be honest with you. All right. Well, in that case, meet me downstairs momentarily. I just have to get the rest of my members up. All right, will do. Um, and she'll probably... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my armor on real quick, and then I'll meet you downstairs. All right. Sounds like a plan. All right. All right. And next up is Hugh. She's going to knock on the door. Hugh is uh, still sleeping. Okay. Uh, in that case, uh, she's going to open the door. Is there a trap on it? No. Okay. You already cool. sprung the last trap. She never That's put true. up another one. That's true. Uh, she's going to walk over to you. And... <laughs> Hold on. I need to check something real quick. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Cause I think I can do this. Da -da. Should have had Colleen wake him up. He'd have woke up real quick. Ah, oh, damn. <clears throat> I can't do it. Uh, she's going to try to wake, uh, shake you awake then. Uh... Oh. Uh, I rolled the GM. That's a 16. Yep. Why the hell are your con seem no. so good? And why do you have to be like this? There's a you beautiful, the there's a beautiful lady downstairs that wants you, you to come down. Oi! <sighs> Alright. In that case, you's gonna pick you up and just throw you. Not very hard or anything like that, but just like kind of like toss you on the ground. Oh, okay. <clears throat> you roll athletics for that. 26. I'm just gonna let it happen. Oh! Morgan! What if I told you about... That wasn't Morgan, that was me. Oh, um, hi, you. Hi. Uh, what are you down doing in my room? Uh, waking you up first. Um, only way I really know how. Unfortunately, it was a fair bit more violent than intended, but... Q Sorry. stands up and dusts himself up. It's okay. It's better than getting stabbed. I figured you would prefer this over getting stabbed. Hey. <laughs> um, meet me downstairs momentarily. I have a job that we could discuss. Okay, just um, let me. Uh, he like grabs a blanket and covers himself. Hugh. I don't want you to see me in my underwear, even though you got a glimpse. Oh right, that excuse me, and she's gonna shut the door. And uh, going over to Morgan, she's gonna knock on the door. What? Uh, meet me downstairs, bud. Gotta talk about something. Why? Uh, it's about a job, buddy. An adventure. Woggy, see. Don't want to go on an adventure? What? Well, yes, but Woggy. Mm. What's wrong, buddy? Can I come inside? I guess. She's gonna open the door. What's um, what's what's going on, Morgan? Morgan's laying in bed, kind of fetal position, holding a teddy bear. 
Do you, uh... Stuart's kind of mimicking the same thing in his little shoebox. Um, you all right, Morgan? Something Whoa. Puny Oldwin. Not Puny Oldwin right now. Not light. Big, big lie. Um, people come in. Morgan punch. Punch you, Lord. Well... Firstly, you know that Ordwin's gone, right? That's not Ordwin downstairs? Well, it looks like puny Ordwin. Well, they're the same race. I'm sure you've met other orcs before, yes? No. Like the... Well, there was the orc that um, collapsed. I never got he... his name, though. Right, but he was also an orc, and he looked relatively like you. But you're not the same person, yes? I thought Big Mirror. What was that? I thought it was Biggie Muro. No, that was an entirely different orc. <laughs> Funny. Aye, but you see how that's an... You see how you have two members of the same race, but they're not the same person, yes? Oh. So? <laughs> have you seen yourself in a mirror, Morgan? <laughs> Once or twice. Right, and you know that you're a big green individual, yes? It's not easy being green. I I know. But what I am saying is that uh, well, your friend was also a big green individual. That's but, he's not, was... but he's not a friend now. He's well, sleepy. I know, he's asleep, but the point still stands. You've met someone else that looks, you know, like you because you're also an orc. But you're not the same person. I guess. Right, it's a similar case with Colleen and Ordwin. They look similar because they're the same race, but they're different people. I mean, does she act like Ord? Kinda. Uh, in what way? Oh, the Ordwin way? Well, okay, let me ask you this. Has she randomly done anything I've told her not to do? It Has hasn't she been around yet. Right, but has she blatantly done something bad? <laughs> knowing what that it is was bad? Morgan uh, don't know. <clears throat> okay. But you understand that she is a different person than Orwin, right? At sure. Least... Don't the inside that? Uh, <laughs> Morgan is fully thinking it's still calling and I mean it's still Ordwin but y'all are trying to pull a big prank is there anything I could do to convince you that that's not Ordwin probably not <laughs> okay oh come on downstairs buddy if you're just feeling up to it you can stay here if you'd like oh goose oh, Morgan puts down teddy bear and then starts walking up, uh, just walking out all right And just uh, walking on through the door. Yeah, I'll keep you safe. But uh, maybe after the meeting, you want to talk to us about. We can go get some sludge. Hmm. I can't say that I've ever really had that, but um, and while everyone is here, oh right, proper introductions actually. Um, she's I... gonna hand these one to everybody too. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, of course. I this should keep us uh, relatively full for the day. Morgan, you... How many do I make? Uh, it is ten berries. Alright, so I hand out... One, two, three, four. I'll give the other six to Morgan. Um, so, be advised, these are literally the nutrition to fill that creature. Um, exactly. Exactly. Not not just if not enough to, to sustain a singular creature, it is enough to sustain that creature. Right. Okay. I just want. No, to... I understand how it works. <laughs> okay. Morgan, <clears throat> Morgan, don't eat all of these at once. They'll keep you um, nourished for the entire day. Um, maybe have one now and then. Maybe have one tonight sometime. 
okay not old win. <laughs> puts it in his uh, puts one in his mouth, eats it. Uh, one of these days, I'll prove to you I'm not whoever this other person is. Uh, anyway, uh, you what what exactly is this thing that you've got for us? Oh, um, right. Well, first things first, I would like to formally introduce myself. Um, I am you, Muller. I've been an adventurer here for I believe seven months now, actually. Um. Over there, as you can see, um, that's Hugh. You've met him. And I know you've met <clears throat> Morgan here. Uh, we did have a former member, also a Furbolg, which is the one he's confusing you for. I figured I, wanted, I should explain that. Unfortunately, I don't think he quite understands that um, there are... I, I... Her, her eyes get kind of big at the mention of another Furbolg. I've Honestly, never ever seen another Furbolg. Huh. Oh ho! What? Woogie was right. Uh, how so? Never seen another Furbolg. Well, Ordwin has seen other Furbolgs. Uh, she hasn't. By your logic, there, Morgan, that would make me an orc. No, you're not green. Well, I mean, if I've never seen another furbolg, and you're an orc that's never seen another furbolg, obviously I must be an orc that's never seen another furbolg. Hmm. Makes sense. Uh, okay. <laughs> she so just looks you... over at you. I, I tried. Eh. Uh, and, you know, that's just going to be its own thing. Um, she'll, put, she'll put, like, a hand on her shoulder. Maybe by the end of today, you'll you'll see. Anyways, okay, um, not old one. Right, so I'm gonna clap her hands together. Um, the lady behind you is Nia. Uh, she and I are a thing. I figured I should make that clear since um, Nia waved. Uh, <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. <clears throat> right. Uh, <laughs> she kind of looks at her too. Are you like? Are you full elf, or...? Yeah, yeah, I am. Do you... Are you any relation to the ones from yesterday? Yes, my brother was one of them. Oh. Well, is one of them. Well, I'm, I'm glad I didn't put the smack down on them, then. You know that they're staying right on the outside of town right there. She nods. Maybe I should go. <sighs> if Catch up with him. If you would like to, I can fill you in on the briefing. Um, once you know tonight, of course. I don't think we'll be departing yet, since I want to get some preparations done. But if you would like, I know it's been a while since you've you know been home and had a chance to talk with him here. Yeah? I'll think of All right. But what's the questie? Um, right. So, I figured, since we're going to be having a fair bit of downtime before we can continue on that um, investigation of ours, it might be prudent for us to actually do some proper adventuring this time. I've asked Lumen, uh, Eleven for some... Um, <clears throat> uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Point of interest, I suppose. And thus far, he's told me of two curiosities we can investigate. Um, in a local town nearby, and uh, now if you would like to tell me the name. Oh, uh, Haroport. Haroport, okay. Or Harrow, whatever. Yeah. I'll spell it out and you pronounce it however you want. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Haroport, okay. In the local town of Haroport, uh, relatively nearby, um, there seems to be a missing persons incident going on. It might be pertaining to the, you know, a little bit about what we've been doing, but it would be a more um, of an investigation of sorts. So I'm not entirely sure how you all would fare with that. Uh, the other one is actually more of a um, an exploration, I suppose. It's a um, crypt, actually, that's been... Uh, Sorry, it's a crypt that we could explore. Um, where is the crypt at, by the way? If you happen to know that, just on the world map, or... 
Uh... We'll we'll just keep this completely open as a key. Oh, all this stuff. So, I guess uh, we'll put Carol Port right there because okay. Port makes it sound like you buy the water. So, uh, and the crypt is down here by Baron. Okay. So, um, I'll leave it to the rest of you to decide which one we would do if you want to do one at all. Um, but I think it'd be a good getaway from um, the endeavor we've been currently pursuing. I figured a break, after, especially after what happened yesterday, uh, sorry, earlier today might be uh, nice for all of us. Um, not that I'm not all about helping other people, but I do feel like a crypt could be something to um, maybe... <laughs> bond us as a group and show you kind of what I can do? Hmm. I hate to admit it, but an investigation sorry, um I feel like our group isn't best suited for um, more delicate matters. I'm gonna look at Morgan and he, uh, Hugh. <laughs> um, and not only that, I, I understand you guys are already doing a lot of investigating. It might be better if we do this um, this other thing, and you guys can maybe fill me in on everything else that's happening, right? That's, that's... Instead of trying to put something on top of what we're already doing, it's mm. a good plan. Um, so I believe that's one vote for the crypt then from you, uh, Colleen. She'll put her hand up. Yep, one for me. All right, and Hugh and Morgan. Well, Morgan go anywhere, but Smith she's some fun. I right. heard you have a lot of aggression. What that mean, Kenny Oldwood? Um, you like to hit stuff. Maybe <clears throat> doing something like this would let you get some of that out. Uh, why did it turn black? Uh oh. Well, uh, did everything what? break? What happened? I don't know. Dream? No, it all turned uh, black. Rolled to money. Oh. Yeah, try to refresh. Back. Yeah, try... yeah, just refresh. It should be good. Yeah, moving. Yeah, because it's all been working for me. I didn't notice anything going black, so I don't know what's going on there. Okay, it's all good now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, Morgan, can we talk about that? Well, you know, generally, it's regardless of if you believe it's old one or not. I believe that the name that they still prefer to go by is Colleen. It is. Or Kali. Rather... Kali, yes. It is rather rude to ignore someone's wishes like that, regardless of who you believe them to be. Ooh. Especially since I don't really know who this old one person is. Right, so if you could at least find it in your heart to call her Colleen, it would be much appreciated. Or Kali. Or Kali, sorry. Whichever. Oh. Key. I'd even settle with Big Blue. Okay, Biggie Blue. That's perfect. There we go. Thank you. Oh, so that's two votes for the crypt then, yes, uh, Morgan? Oh, yes, see. All right. Hugh, I do still want to hear your thoughts. I want to get some sludge. Uh, can I chalk you up for a yes on the crypt party then? Yeah. You all right? Just... Yeah, he yawns. I didn't just didn't have my morning sludge. That's it. Right. I suppose I did make you run on the roof earlier today, so I can't be um too strict on you. Um, you said you had some things you had to get ready before we left. Uh, mostly preparing rations, because I know that we're. <laughs> I know that some are keen to forget these things. But if you have access to Goodberry, then I suppose it's not really necessary for me to do that. But there are a few other, you know, dungeoneering uh, supplies I do want to grab. All right. Well, how about while you're doing that, um, 
Morgan, Hugh, and I just run over, grab a quick cup of coffee real fast, and we'll meet you back here in... Um, I was thinking we depart tomorrow. Oh. Oh, after tonight. It is midday. Yes. And we did just have that incident earlier today. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, is there anything you'd need us to look for while we're in town? Whoa, 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 wait, wait, hold on. You telling me that it's not even the next day yet? Oh, yeah, you guys went to the buffet and then just went right back. It wasn't even night. Uh, I'm going back to bed. I... what about that coffee? It's supposed to be morning sludge. Not midday sludge. Huh. Well, it was good seeing you while you were here. Yeah. I'll see you um, tomorrow. Well, if there's anything that we need to take care of um, while he's sleeping, um, Morgan, you were interrupted in your working out earlier. Did you want to go do that and maybe you and I can handle whatever needs to be taken care of for the party? Oh, you see. <clears throat> All right. Well, in that case, uh, Mia, would you be willing to accompany us as well? Um... I may just stay here. All right, that's fine. In that case, talk to you when I get back then. To be fair, it probably would be smart to have someone here at the house just in case. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, it's not just about staying at the house. <sighs> Catching up to do with... Mm. Well, that's fine. In that case, uh, talk to you tonight. She's gonna walk over and give her a peck on the cheek. And, uh, I think we're ready to have- or oh, we're ready to go to the fucking shop. Alright. Oh, if you could take a uh, in during guard, please. You mean Dunnock? Oh, sorry, Dunnock, my bad. I was about to say, where are we- I don't want to go there. Unless. <laughs> Ordwin sends to you. I'm here! Told you I could take this city down. <laughs> He's already become like a small, like a warlord. <laughs> um, by the way, what have happened to Dresba? He was there yesterday. Is he good? I pretty much told him Dresba good. Ah, I, I've, I've had him like fixing up the place, like. Oh yeah, Morgan. right, right, right. Yeah. Dresba did be doing work. Dresba's been, been doing work. You need Dresba for something? No, I just wanted to check in on you. How how you doing, bud? Dresba good. Have you eaten anything? She's gonna hand him up. a good berry. He looks up, counts on his fingers. Not for five days. Jesus! Uh, <laughs> uh, what? Here, I made ten of these. I gave a few. Few away. I'm not. I'm gonna act like I didn't give Morgan all six of those. Have one of these. Thank you. And he eats one. Right. Oh go take goodness. a break, buddy. Do you... Okay. And help and Nia. He just falls flat, Nia. flat on the face. face. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, let me bring him up to a room real quick, and then I'll be right back down. Oh, all right. And uh, on. on... When she, like, drops off Dresba to bed, she is going to, like, kind of just look at you and just going to say, I'm not going to lie, it's nice having somebody else that cares about the well-being of others around for once, other than me and Nia. It's just kind of in my nature, I guess. Right, well, I'm thinking we, we, don't, have to, we don't have too many stops, I suppose. I was going to stop by, um, oh, where was it called again? The, uh... It's this place. I'm just gonna. Oh my god! I just accidentally fucking put it on the map. Uh, it's uh fucking right by the tavern here. This place. I can't pronounce it, so I'm not going to. By the tavern? Uh, on the left of it. Oh, Renadier. Yeah, the general shop, basically. Right, right. No, on our way, walk over there. She would tell you. Um. I was kind of uh, an orphan growing up, you know. I never really knew any of my family, so 
I had a lot of people in and out of my life that we all kind of cared for each other, and that's just, just kind of how I was raised. Huh. I suppose I'm somewhat similar in that regard. I wasn't an orphan. I grew up in the uh, mercenary camp with my parents. They were fairly high standing, so I got to know a bunch of the other mercenaries around there. And you could say that they're, to some extent, my extended family as well. Before I left them back in Buford. That's just south of here, right? Uh, north, actually. Far. Oh, right, 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 right. I've done a fair bit of traveling in my time. Um, I don't remember much from my childhood, but... Um, well, nothing before really the age of eight, but... I, I do know that I've done a fair bit of traveling. Well, I suppose Morgan was right about that. You do sound somewhat familiar to Lord when I know he's done him his uh, fair share of traveling himself. Well, it could just be a fear bog thing, possibly. I suppose. I'm not entirely well versed on your kind, I'm afraid. Uh, to be honest, it's not something you really run into a lot. I. They are. I believe that they generally tend to keep to themselves, at least from what Nia has told me a little bit about them. But I know that they're not exactly, um, well, I know they're not exactly keen on, um, uh, certain, you know, Serenies and the like, but, uh, that's a topic for another time, I suppose. Well, I mean, not only that, but, uh, she will do this and slowly transform into, like, a five foot eight red-headed lady wearing a brown dress, some tan sandals. <clears throat> we kind of like to melt in with the community. Right. That um, shape-shifting thing you do. Ordwin's done it a couple of times, though I won't lie. I'm sure that that's part of the reason why Morgan doesn't believe you are who you are. You could say that he had a very malicious use of it one time. Ah, uh, so he wasn't, uh... He wasn't really the intellectual type? Uh, Morgan or Ordwin? Ordwin. Because the answer to both is yes. <laughs> <laughs> I see, well... <clears throat> and Morgan, you... suddenly in the distance, you feel a sharp pain in your chest. Uh, it feels accurate. <laughs> Yeah, I, I find more practical uses for my magic than more... I guess the easiest way to say it would be non-practical. Right. It's... Again, it's nice having you on the team. <clears throat> oh, we That's should true. be just about here. Alright. Uh, what shop are you going in? Uh, the, uh... Oh my Renadier? God. Renadier, thank you. Alright. You step inside, and Colleen, this would be your first time seeing it. Uh, you look in the shop, and it's pretty quaint shop. You see a, uh, a fairy up by the desk, seems to be doing some paperwork, and then you hear a little girl's voice saying, just a minute, and then her head pops up at the desk as she sits Ooh. in the chair. Hi! Welcome Sprite to Rena, little one. My name is Rena, and her name is Dear. Oh, I don't think you've ever been here either, has she? I've been here once. I remember. Okay. Oh, um, well, hello. And she's going to reach out her hand. I'm Colleen. I'm kind of new to town. She props herself up on the desk to uh, reach out for your hand and shakes it. Oh, this is a very nice shop you've got here. What kind of wares do you sell? Uh, anything and everything. If I can she get it, I can sell it. She's going to look over to you. I see why you wanted to come here. Hmm. Generally, we tend to stop in here before uh, any long endeavors. Gotcha. Uh, Colleen's just going to kind of start looking around because she knows you kind of has things she wants to look for. So I'm just going to kind of be browsing the shelves. Yeah. Um. I'm not going to be picking up too much. I'm basically going to be picking up. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to be picking up like at least. Four, let's go 15 rations. Um, I want to pick up some hemp and rope as well, 50 feet of it. 
and I believe a grap sorry, a uh, grappling hook is also a thing I could pick up too. But I could be wrong. Alright. Uh, so everything you were grabbing was fifteen. Hook yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll jot it down for you. Fifteen rations, fifty feet of hemp and rope, a grappling hook. If they have one, it's spelled grappling wrong, but nobody needs to know. <laughs> nope. Oh, right, I need to get a sleeping bag. Because all I, I mean, have is tents. Since you're just uh, browsing around, roll a d1. Let's see what you, what you find. Uh, really? <clears throat> uh, you find death. <laughs> you You're find fine. a staff that seems to be perfectly sawn and like just a wooden staff. Uh, yeah, yeah, in half, down the middle. Hmm. Can you tell me a little bit more about this? The fairy comes up to you and says, That's a half staff. Only one half can exist uh, in a plane at a time. What uses is it? Whatever you say, regular uh, wizard staff. You say wizard staff? Yes. Hmm. It can be used as a magical focus for wizards. Um. Other than that, it has no other uh, property. Um, you, what kind of magics is Naya into? Nia? Mm -hmm. Naya? Um, the knife kind. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna put some money on the table to pay for them. Alright, uh, give me a second to get the uh, prices while you talk. I know rations are five silver per, so I can do that for you. I don't know hemp and rope, and I don't know if grappling hooks. Do you have any of those bags that can hold a big bunch of stuff? You mean a bag oh. of holding? Uh, I guess that's what it's called. She takes a look at you, you. <laughs> Do you have a bag of holding for sale? Let me go look in the back. All right. Ordwin just it, got his bag. It's not pertinent. It's just asking if it's possible you had one. It may be possible to have one. Look. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Um, are those rations for everyone, or are those just for you? Um, I but it seems for everyone. I, do you, I like to hold on to a decent supply just for my time of adventuring. And uh, also, uh, um... Oh, what's up? Talking to myself. Oh, okay. okay. <clears throat> um, and also, um... I know you have um, access to a very useful spell. However, I generally like to um, be prepared. For... Uh, no, no, no. It wasn't. I was just asking because I didn't, you know, want you spending all your money on all of us. I mean, if you needed some. Um... I, if, if I don't, who will? <laughs> oh, I didn't realize you had money like that. <laughs> I, I don't, um, I don't carry a lot on me. That's all. <clears throat> All right, well, I, I, know we had a... I don't know how many adventures y'all have actually been on or anything. Uh, only a few thus far, at least with um, Morgan and the rest. I may have known for a fair bit of time, but I only know the rest for about a month now, I suppose. All right. Um, so all of this will come out to five silver and one platinum, or ten gold. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, I'll just put on uh, 11 gold because I'm lazy. Okay. And she opens up a uh, box, starts digging through, and ho holds out her hand and drops five silver. Oh. Oh, well. She broke my change, so. And the fairy, uh, um, Am I cutting off a lot for you guys? A little bit. 
it's only like, right at the end, like the yeah, last. It's not. It's not too bad. But... All right, I lowered it to minus fifty-five. That okay. that worked. All right. Uh, and the fairy looks at you and says, "It doesn't look like we have any bags today." Ah, oh, that's okay. Um, I'm gonna be staying over at the um Adventurers Guild. Um, I'll let you know if we get one in. Wonderful. I really do appreciate it. It's it's not that I need one right now. It's just, you know, if so. You know, I should have asked this. Um, do you all perchance happen to um purchase magical items? Us? Yes. Um Actually, most of the items we get aren't from purchasing, but adventuring. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Where are y'all adventuring you hear, uh, some shifting in a corner. You look over and there's a box. <laughs> look over at the box. There's um, a box there. So, uh, what's in the box? Uh, Retta holds herself up over the counter and takes a look. And confused. I I don't actually know. Do you want me to open it up or uh, just leave it there? You can open it. Okay, I'm going to open it. You go up, and as you bend down to open it, it scuttles off away from you. Uh, huh. <laughs> So, was that a person inside of the box, I take it? I'm going to look back. You know and they were look at each other, then look at you. You know what? Never charge. mind. That's Let's just phone. pretend like we didn't see this. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please do. Never we ha- saw nothing. Exactly. Never happened. Is that box talking? No. Gonna pretend it doesn't happen. Um. <laughs> so, I said, if you all get your imports from um, adventuring, would you be interested in buying a magical item? I happen to have a mirror that I've been trying to get rid of. Hmm. Well, we might be interested if you come in and show it to us sometime. Uh, sure. I could go grab it real quick. Um. It uh. It does. It is an interesting mirror of sorts. I. Don't recommend looking at it when it's uh, when it's not wrapped up. It's uh, the stole stealing kind. <laughs> um, how would we be able to sell that here? Ah, uh, you never know. The adventurers of all sorts come in. You might be able to find someone that would be interested in it. What's the likelihood that someone would want to buy a mirror that would steal their soul? Well, what's the likelihood of somebody wanting a mirror that can steal other people's souls? Not usually good people. Uh, why would why would we want true. a mirror that can steal people's souls out in the market? That yeah, yeah. I figured that's actually a good point. Sorry for bringing it up. Yeah, the more we just discussed this. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, in that case, I don't have much else I wanted to pick up other than that. Um, okay. You know what? I have a question. Uh, I am going to lean over to the counter and whisper and ask if I can find one thing. Okay. All right, hold on. I sent it to you. Uh, hey, hey there, you want to go track? She goes back, and a few seconds later, she comes out with a broom. This is what you were looking for, yes? Right, um, yes. How much would you be willing to part with it for? If that's what I think it is, I have one of those. Do you? I I do, if that's what I think it is. (laughs) It's in my room. Oh, it's a wondrous. Uncommon wondrous. Yep. Is it what I think it is? 
Uh, it might be yeah. what season, I guess. <laughs> Oh man. Oh boy. Did the music stop? Uh no, it's still fine. Now it's yeah, it's still there. I'm just trying to Okay. Between there. Okay. I'm also gonna look back at uh Colleen, by the way, and just be like, oh, do you also have one of these? Um, if it is what I think it is, I do. Right, my mother had one of these, so I was always interested in picking one up. I... They're very <laughs> useful. Right, I've, I've seen it, I've seen it firsthand. I've wanted one for a while, but, you know, I do aspire to be, you know, uh, you know what, never mind. That's story for another time. All right, how does 260 gold sound? All right, sure. I can afford that. And I'm going to slide 260 gold on the table. And she hands you the broom. And uh, Rena gives you a warm smile and says, I hope you enjoy your purchase. Okay, uh, real quick. Can I test it out? All right. You get on it. You take a look at the uh, words inscribed on the, uh, on the handle. And you speak them. And then you start to float. Ah, <laughs> oh, it is what I have. Right, in that case, do you want to ride back in style? <laughs> yes, and I will grab mine as well. All right, I want you to know, you right now at least is riding it like a like a freaking surfboard. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, acrobatics. Oh, acrobat. Oh no. <laughs> I was gonna say Colleen rides oh, inside. No. Oh you, no. You you you, you uh, stand up on the broom and try to. Uh, Try to like a surfboard, and then I'll try to catch her. you fall off. No, don't. <laughs> if you want to try and catch, it's acrobatics or athletics. <laughs> I'm not good at either of these. Um, it's it's fine. I will take. I will fall to the ground like a champion. It's I already fine. clicked it. Uh, it's, it, it, it. There it goes. <gasps> <laughs> you fall directly into Colleen's arms. As she cradles you like a baby. <laughs> right. You got you, to be careful on these your first time. You, you, you can put me down now. I, I appreciate it. I, I wasn't really the more... Yeah. She was more right. trying to break your fall than, you know, you just hit no, I, I, I got you. Yeah. You got right. to be careful on these your first time. I'll just stick to sitting down. And she's going to kind of get on, like, uh, side straddle, you know? Like, um, side saddle. I don't know why I said straddle. European style. rattle the, the broom. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. I have one of these now. <laughs> Alright. And we're gonna... We're, I want you to know we're both gonna fly back. Alright. I just... I, I, I just want to say this uh, because I just saw it. And now everyone has to know that it exists. Danny D'Amico. D'Amico. Alright. Let me turn the session. I'll show you that. I'll show you later. I don't think I want to see it. <laughs> there are several things I want to see in this life, and that's not one of them, my good friend. I'm sorry. Alright. Well, uh... <clears throat> so, you guys fly your way back to the Adventurers Guild. And... Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh, you just kind of kind of have this strap to her back now. Just chat, like uh, you know, once we get back, it's gonna be a. All right. Well, I have um the rations prepared. I have some rope. Uh, I don't need torches. I actually have something for that. I don't actually think we'll need anything else. I believe everything else we would need for a uh, delve into a crypt is um already on us. And this is just a... And she's going to pull out the broom again. Just a safety tool, I figured that. Might as well have. Oh, and as you were flying, you did see uh, over by a tree Naya and her brother sitting down and talking. Oh. Wow, well, that's good. 
you would have right. just yeah, you would have just kept flying then. She don't want to interrupt. Alright. But yeah. Once we get back, you's gonna head straight to her room and then I will be prepped up and ready for tomorrow. You hear a knock at your door when you go in. Hmm? Hey you. Uh yes. I'm looking to order new beds for everyone, if you are interested. Yes, please. Uh, could you get a larger one for me? <laughs> uh, of course. Alright. A larger bed for you and Naya. And, he, and he'll be doing that for the rest of you guys, too. Me no. So if he knocked on Colleen's door, you would have seen that the plants are already blooming? <laughs> um, he looks uh, at how tall you are he looks at the size of the bed looks back to you shorter, uh, longer bed that's um, actually if you wouldn't mind um, what about like a nice hammock I could do that that's cheaper perfect yeah just something to kind of uh, sprawl the length of the room and um, yeah <clears throat> I appreciate it Levin thank you of course. We have a lot of uh, extra money for this stuff, thanks to uh, Furbog that was here. I'm hearing a lot about him. I hope to meet him someday. Perhaps you will. Knocks on Hugh's door. Snores. Hugh. Snores. He opens the door. Walks up to you. You? No, Dad. I'm ready for school. If anyone could see his face right now, he's got this I'm so done with this face. <laughs> and lifts up his hand. And suddenly, you're splashed with water. Ah! Oh, good, you're awake. Water. Oh, why is there water here? I, I don't know. There must have been a ceiling leak. Oh, well, luckily Dresma's fixing the guild. Yeah, so that's that's definitely a great thing. Um, would you like a new bed? Uh, or the one you I have perfectly fine. Oh no, yeah, I definitely need a new bed. All right. That's what makes noise every time I move. All right. A new bed on the order. Uh, if only Ella and uh, Ellie and Eliza were back, then I could ask them if they wanted new ones. I mean, if Ordwin was here, he could have called them. True, but he's not. Uh, is Morgan in his room right now? I wonder. Uh, he's either in his room or he might be down below uh, exercising. Well, you enjoy your sleep. Uh, I might have to change the bed sheets though. It's kind of wet. They're kind of moist. Yes, hopefully uh, Dresba will uh, fix that roof. Yeah, hopefully. And he walked out, knocks on Morgan's door. He's downstairs. Opens the door. Oh, he's not there. Goes downstairs. <clears throat> Morgan. Big old grunting coming from downstairs. Walks down. Morgan. Goose? I am currently doing some... Shopping for new beds for everyone. Is there one you would like? Or a bigger bed? A bigger one? All With right. With another teddy bear. I think and, I can get that thrown in. And book with ogre and donkey living in the swamp. That will be another shopping trip. But I'll put that down to... Uh, to make sure I look for it. Okay. And he goes back up. And so, the rest of the night goes on. Um, where exactly would Ordwin have made it to by now if he's on horseback? Uh, on horseback? Yeah, just because he told you he'd send her in the morning and at evening. He'd probably send her to let her know, hey, I'm here. He's pretty close to Willowrim. 
All right. Well, he'll send to her like um. <clears throat> Shoot. Hold on. Hello, you. Um, just wanted to give you a heads up. I'm getting real close to um Willerin. I'll be hopping the train tomorrow. Everything's going great. Making a little camp outside of town. Hope everything's going good over on your end. Things are going fine. Uh, planning an expedition to a crypt. Got a new furbolg you might be interested in. Goes by Colleen. And have you ever told us our last name? I told you her last name was Moon. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> goes, she goes by Colleen Moon. Also, Morgan thinks it's you. He thinks it's you as in you, or you as in me? He thinks it's you as in Colleen is you. Disguised yourself, girl. Um... It's gonna go silent for a minute, and then you'll hear back. You know, I had a sister named Colleen once. <clears throat> Colleen Moon? Um, well, it would have been Colleen Black, but... Um, no, well, it can't be. She does seem to have a memory lapse of when she was younger. I could ask her if she knows an old one Black. I told her your first name, but not your last. It can't be the same one. I, I saw my sister not make it, so... I think it's worth meeting here at some point when you finish um, what you're doing. Of course. Um, yeah, you're going to notice he's a little disheveled, you know, in his tone, you know? <clears throat> Your mind thoughts are disheveled. What's going on, bud? <laughs> uh, it's just the first time I've heard that name in a very long time. You have to understand that no, I, the last I, time I, I saw her, she was four. Hmm. And I watched her not live. I... Old one, I think, is worth investigating this. We'll keep her in our care for now, and I'll make sure no harm comes to her until you get back, all right? Yeah, I, I do appreciate it. I'm I'm going to continue on with what I'm doing for now. And, um... Yes, as soon as I figure out more, um, I'll... I'll whew, I'll definitely come back. Tell tell all the boys I said hey. Tell Nea I said hello. And, um... I miss you all. Well, we miss you as well, Aldwin. And please take care of yourself. Yeah, you too. And uh, tell the new person I look forward to meeting. Hmm. Alright. <clears throat> so, night comes, night goes, and you all awake. In the morning. There's explosions everywhere. Oh boy. What? What? <laughs> right. Well, let's get this started then. And you is going to be just making some preparations downstairs. Uh, she's also going to just have gotten the carriage and everything ready. With her horse attached to it in addition to Charlie's. Um, because now she doesn't really have much for you. Uh, doesn't have much need for him. Um, and all of this is going to be basically prepared very early in the morning, so we don't have to worry about it. Wait, did Ordwin or take uh, Charlie? Oh, oh, right. Okay. No, no. Ordwin would have taken his figurine. Now that I'm thinking about it, and left Charlie probably, because well, he never he never did sell that, and he probably would have left Charlie for the group. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, that's the question. Was he? Did you just say he was taking the train? Yes, so okay. he would have used the figurine for the horse to ride out that way. Okay, okay. Um, what do you mean? Charlie can run. Yeah, but I want to say Ordwin left Charlie for Morgan. Because he has the animal speak to. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, basically all of the the, the wagon and then the um, horses would all be ready in the morning. Just, or prepared very early. All right. And Colleen would have went down, and since Hughes said he likes sludge, she's going to assume that's coffee, and she'd probably be getting some coffee ready to go. That's why um, Texanians uh, uh, call coffee a sludge. 
while you're like heading out that way, um, you do you want me to wake the others up while you're getting ready? Whatever you're getting ready. Um, yes, please. Okay. I, I'm almost done. Just um, <laughs> just um, I don't know how you're gonna wake up Hugh. He generally has some issues in the morning. I'm sure I figured something out. All right. Oh, I had no issues with him. I'm sorry, what? I had no issues with him. Well, how did you do it? There was a leak in the roof. A you leak in the roof, you say? Yeah, she's, she's going to get a cup of water. water yesterday. I swear, she's, you pee on him. She's slowly, slowly filling up a cup of water in the sink. Leaky roof, huh? Yes, yes, a very leaky roof. That Dresba will have to fix one of these days. Dreadful. She's going to slowly start making her way upstairs with a cup of water. Leaky I, roof! I don't like where this is going. She's going to knock on Hugh's door. Snore. She's going to wiggle it to see if it's locked. It's unlocked. All right, she's going to open it slowly. Um, Hugh? Very, very, very loud snore. She's going to get walk in and get close to him in his ear. Hugh, it's Colleen. No, I don't want to go to school. Oh, my goodness. And she's going to hold the cup really high above his head while she's leaning down. There's a leak in the roof. <laughs> and slowly start pouring it on him. You, there's a leak. <laughs> he wakes up. Ah, oh, dang it, Trez, but you're clean. Fix that. I didn't even know there was rain in the weather today. He 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 looks at you. He sees he sees it's you, Colleen. She, what what are you doing in my room? She's slowly sipping the extra cup of water. She the, the rest of it. Um, we have our little thing we're going on today. He slowly pulls the blanket over himself. Go on and get dressed. I'm going to get Morgan up. Yes. I will. As she's walking out, she's just going to look back at him, give him a little wink, shut the door slowly. It's like, oh, I hope she didn't see anything. He looks at he looks at his clothes and everything that's still hanging from because they're drying. Ah, such a cute boy. I really hope she didn't see it. He gives a he knock on, on Morgan. Is a knock on Morgan's door. Not, um, uh, not, not upstairs. This is the next day. Yep. Oh, yeah. Hello? Morgan? Hello? Hey, Morgan. It's, um, it's Big Blue. Biggie Blue? Yes? Uh, you's downstairs getting everything prepped and ready to go. Um, she asked if I would go ahead and get everybody up. Let me guess. I have to get baby Hugh. Actually, he's already awake. Okay. Levin Morgan gets up. A little bit of water wakes him up. Morgan gets up, goes over to Hugh's room. Is Hugh asleep still? Or back Don't asleep? come in! Morgan barges through the door. Duh! Come on! Going to get you. I'm trying to get dressed here. Morgan picks him up by the boxers and just puts him over his shoulder. What? To Ah! Morgan, what? put me down! Morgan, you gotta let him get his arm on. Trust me. You give him time, he's gonna go to sleep again. Time to go. Oh, come on! Right, What's but Morgan, Morgan, there's a leaky roof. Morgan literally carries him down the stairs. Colleen, can you grab my armor and my dagger? She runs in and grabs his stuff. I'll meet downstairs, and she's following after y'all. Um, Morgan, she gets down there. Morgan tosses him into the cart. Um, Levin, did did Nia ever come back last night? Um, no, she didn't actually. Hmm. Well, um. Well, since uh, the Goodberries vanished, don't they? I'll do another Goodberry to hand everyone that. And then, like I said, the um, 
the coffee's there. Uh, you's already made the way outside, I guess. She said something about Charlie? Yes, that's the horse. Ah, that makes sense. She said she's getting Charlie ready, so... Um... Whenever y'all are ready, I guess, just meet us on outside? Oh, I... I'm not going with you. All oh, right, I'm talking about Hugh and um, Morgan here. Oh yes, okay. Morgan's already um, outside, throwing Hugh into the cart. He doesn't have. I'm so sorry. I, I hate to run like this, but um, wish us luck. And she's gonna grab his armor and head on out the door. Yes. Uh, good luck. Have fun with the the crypt. Will do. He tries to find like a like a blanket or something that's inside the cart, and he puts it over him. Puts it over himself. She throws the armor to you. Here you go. Thank you. So um, about Nia not showing. Up. Yeah, I was about to say that. Uh, you did you know? Um, Nia didn't show up last night. I think she's still with her brother. Give Give me a second. That's what they all say. And yeah, you's gonna go try to find them. It doesn't take you long. You see them both uh, shooting arrows at a target. Okay. Um, she's gonna walk up to Nia. So, having a good time? She nods. I'm <laughs> three points ahead. <laughs> All right. Um, did can I ask you a question then? Mm-hmm. Would you like to relax with your brother for a little while whilst they're still in town? We can handle this expedition just for a little while, and then, um... She relaxes her bow and looks at you. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? <laughs> I'll be fine. You know me well enough to know I can handle myself. Uh... Besides, I don't think I have the heart. I, I don't think I have it in me to, um tell you away from this. And I'm going to look over to her and her brother. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not you as much that I'm worried about here. It's what they are going to do. Well! <laughs> Don't let them get, get you all killed. I'll be fine. Oh, they'll be fine. <clears throat> and I appreciate the consent. I'm going to give her a hug. I'll be back before you know it. Oh, and let me know who wins this match when I get back. Certainly it's me. And then you hear, and now I am a point ahead. <laughs> ah, great. Looking forward to the result, says you just walking away, waving. All They're right. a cute little couple. Did you follow me? No, you, uh, he said it was right there, right? She had no, been watching from the car. Long. Oh, my bad. I thought she <laughs> said she was right on the edge. Okay. okay. Never mind. No, you're fine. You're fine. Sorry about that. All right. So, are we uh, ready to begin? Everybody ready? This is going to be a few days traveled at least. <sighs> oh, completely ready when you all are. And she'd probably be mounting onto her broom. Morgan snaps a thing and gets Charlie to start moving. So this is Charlie. Yeah. He's great at conversationalist. Is he yours? No. It's Penny Oldwin's. Obviously. Hmm. Well, you say obviously. It's not obvious to me. Kind of is. Oh. Why would it be obvious to me? Because you're Aldwin? Um, buddy, I'm not him. Sure. Okay. Alright. So, I guess we're right. headed towards that way. Yep, and since you don't have long for this, uh, why don't we just start calling it? 
and <clears throat> we'll basically call it as you guys get to uh, Baronwood. All right. Um, when we get there, actually, do you mind? Since he's got twenty minutes, do you mind if we look around there really quick? Since we didn't really get to last time when um, well, no, I wouldn't even know any of this. Never mind. Hmm. Sure, if you would like. When you arrive, the first thing you would probably notice is the uh, burnt-down uh, rubble that's, be that's been... that's being cleared away. Oh. I wonder what's happened here. Like, most of it has been cleared away, but there's still some left, you know. Is Hugh awake? Mm -hmm. He was pouting. What's wrong, bud? Oh, I don't know. Chaz bud didn't fix the roof, so I got all wet in the morning. I got dragged out of my room when I was still changing. Uh, well, that wasn't me. And hopefully, Chaz will have the roof fixed before that. Hopefully, because hey. I would like to sleep in a bed that's not wet. Right. I have a question for you, Hugh. Yeah. What's the best way to wake you up in the morning? Huh? Like, oh, let's um, say you were a heavy sleeper. I mean, you're obviously not a heavy sleeper, but let's say you were a heavy sleeper. What would be the best way to wake you up? I mean, my friend um, back of where I came from, she woke me up by throwing a bucket of water on me. Maybe it's better if the roof doesn't get fixed. Oh, it better, or then I'm never going to get to sleep. Well, I mean, luckily it's only leaking when it's time to get up, though. Yeah, it must have been really, really rainy this morning. Um, do you know anything about this burned down rubble over here? That place? Nah, I don't remember. Well, you'd remember it. You just wouldn't remember why. No, he does. No, well, I mean, he doesn't really remember. It's been a while. Is there anything like in this town, like other than the burned down building? <clears throat> well, there's a uh, inn. There's the church. There are some stores and all that. I'll wait for you I to get back. This to do really that. Uh, elaborate, uh, elaborately designed church in the center of town. Uh, Hugh, Hugh, didn't I hear you were from some kind of a church or something? Mm, did you hear that? I thought I'd heard something like that. I haven't said anything yet, but yes, I am from a church. Well, dang, I thought you had said something. Anyway. Calling actually Ordwin? <gasps> no. What? Mirror image. So is that where that uh, entire conversation was just ending then? No, no, no. Well, I need to ask about the, the... If he doesn't know the... Or remember the thing about the burning fire, like, I gotta wait for you to talk about it. So I remember we, last time... You wasn't even there. Yes, yeah, she was. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. That was like it, the it, last one with Baltimore, pretty much. Uh, no, because... Because we had you, Muller, and Morgan pretty much all on the same day. I'm back. No, Naya um, and you were definitely at the church when it burned down. 100%. Um, yeah, but not the church, they, the library. Yeah, they were there. That, that was not Baltimore. Really? What's going on? We're in the town where that that building, the library, burned down, and that was definitely you With and Spinian? Nia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was you. Yeah. I was that... gonna set up the ambush. Yeah. That was the day Baltimore left. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um. So Colleen was just asking um Hugh if he knew anything about that, and he said he didn't remember. So she would have also been asking you. Okay. 
just because we're rolling into this town and it's this burned down remember finian part of it right right um i remember that we'd seen the building catch on fire through one of levin's scrying spells well uh, let me rephrase just so you don't like she would have said um uh do you know anything about this burned down building oh Oh, right. Um, As we're rolling into the town, because this is the first time she's seeing it, and we're pulling into a burned-down building. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, in that case, she would say, uh, this actually was... Um, it used to be the home of a um, of an older man and his younger daughter. Um, we ended up saving them, actually, from this b- building burning down. We... Oh, if memory serves, I know Levin was crying and something, but I can't seem to remember what. But we oh. caught wind of this building burning down. Thankfully, there's a teleportation circle nearby. So we just did what we could. I oh. believe that they're still here, actually, if you wanted to go ask questions about that. Oh, I was more so making sure we didn't need to be on guard. I didn't know if something had recently happened or... Well, that's just it. I don't seem to recall much about the event. Well why exactly we were scrying in the first place it seems to elude me but well i just didn't know if levin sent us here for a specific reason that might involve this burned down building or not i, I you know more about why we're here than anyone that's that's all right well we're only here to explore these crypts okay um he said there was an inn and a church and what else was around town some shops and some shops is there a stable? Yes, there is. You can find the stable at every town. Is there a tavern? <clears throat> let me let me check. Is there a house? <laughs> yes, there are houses. All is right. there a flower? There is a tavern. All right. He's probably flowers. gonna. He's probably gonna go to the tavern because he didn't get his morning sludge, so he's just gonna drink. Oh, you didn't get it because he ripped you out of the house. Yeah, threw me in a cart. Um, you if, uh, you wouldn't mind. I'll stable the horses if you want to get to a room at the inn. The stable yeah. is right there at the inn as well. Oh, did you want to push through the town and maybe make camp? You? Sorry, what's up? Um, we can either stable the horses and um, you can get us a room here at the inn, or we can push through town and maybe camp more so on the way towards the crypt. Well, I have actually, I'm not going to lie, I think I prefer to sleep on the open road tonight. Uh, we can push for a little bit further. All right. Uh, Morgan, you? <sighs> what is going with anything? If you'd like to run and grab a drink really fast, maybe you can get one to go? Q hops off the cart. All right, I'll do that. All right, we'll wait here. Don't keep me too long. Okay. You go down the street to the tavern and get yourself some drink. Roll a d100. You're dead. I would have to roll it to 1d100. Because you left the group, man. That's just, that's just what I expect to happen sometimes. All right, all right, all right. Let's see if uh, rocks fall. Random fall. encounter question mark. Oh, rocks fall. Party dies. What? Oh, he was the survivor. What? And I yes, I wrote a one d two hunt two million. All right then. So, yeah, you get your drink, and you're all just camping outside of town. Yeah, as it far as we can get the to the to the crypt as we can i guess just kind of chilling out okay um uh colleen probably would have started setting up like a fire All right. and kind of making a bed out of some some straw some grass or something you know just something to lay on under the stars all right then so we'll end it off here And yeah, sorry, this was a more boring session. 
We had a lot of technical issues. It's all right. We got some backstory out. It's all good. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. If you like this content, yet again, like, share, and subscribe. Hit us with that notification bell. And we'll be back next Thursday. Uh, Hugh, take it away. And we'll see you on the next episode of Tales of Aria.